We're getting ready to test the brand new Hexworm mold. Here we go. Some of you may have already seen photos of it on Facebook. Basically the idea is you get a 4, a 5, a 6, an 8, and a 10 inch worm in a single mold. A lot of guys don't know which size they want or will work best for them. So this is an opportunity for somebody to get worms from finesse to massive in one mold. I'm going to tell you what I think is going to happen in shooting this. I think this mold, or this cavity and this cavity are continue to draw plastic for a long time. Whereas this one and this one will be okay. And this one may get a little bit of drawback if you don't keep the the main sprue runner topped off. So you shoot it and you just have to keep pouring plastic into it until these two freeze off. Or, or at least until these two freeze off because it'll continue to draw down past. But I would just sit there and top it off or if you don't want to do that, order a sprue extender. We've, Or if you already have one, just use one you already have. But anyway, that's what I think is going to happen. I'm going to shoot it, and this cavity is going to freeze off pretty quickly. This one not too bad. This one's going to take a while, and these two are going to take a long time and continue to draw plastic for quite a while. So you may want to use one of these. And I sell these on the website fairly reasonably, although I haven't sold any in a while, so somebody may be selling theirs for a dollar less than mine. I don't know. Give me a second while I check the plastic in the microwave. Alright, now I don't think that the uh, number of clamping screws is going to be an issue. I've got it set up for six clamping screws. I'm just going to test it with three clamps, just like I would any mold this long. If it were taller, I would probably test it with four or five clamps. But it's not that tall, so I think it'll be fine. I'm going to edge down towards the a little bit towards the lower side because the bigger cavities will have more surface area pressing the mold apart. And of course, if you use all six clamping screws, it'll be well clamped regardless. And that's the setup I'm going to use to shoot it. And I think I'm going to shoot it the first time without the sprue extender. There we go. I'm going to shoot it the first time without the sprue extender so that I can see if it performs the way I think it does, that it'll need to be filled for quite a while for those big worms on the bottom to stay full or not dent. I uh, may even have to Actually, you know what? I think I'll probably hold pressure for a little while even. And then I'll shoot it a second time with a sprue extender and see how that does. It occurs to me I haven't even calculated how much plastic this mold will take. So I'm going to shoot it with my just under 6 ounce injectors. They were supposed to be 6 ounce injectors. 6 ounce, excuse me. They were supposed to be 6 ounce injectors, but they came out a little smaller than that. Uh, I don't remember. I did. I calculated them out once, and then I also tested them by physical volume. But they're close to 6 ounces, so if my injectors will fill it, I'm sure your 6 ounce injector will fill it after I get the old plastic plug out. Alrighty. This is just some overcooked white pearl with shad flake that's left over, remelted, recooked many times that I sitting here on a bench that I use for testing new molds. Yeah, I think that filled it. Now because I know those bottom molds or those bottom cavities are big and they're going to continue to draw plastic for a while as they cool and shrink. I'm just going to stand here and hold pressure on it for, I don't know, 20, 30 seconds, something like that. Anybody got a timer? Want to throw a timer on screen? Just going to do it until it feels right. 
Now the mold was cold, but yeah, I can still see it sinking. Anyway, six ounce injector will definitely fill this mold. Uh, this is the five cavity um, hex worm. Boy, I didn't sound very confident there, did I? That's the five cavity multi-size hex worm mold. Okay. Now, first shot, mold's cold. It's probably going to take cool off fairly quickly, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the camera away and walk away for a few minutes and make sure it's fully cooled off before I open it up, because those bottom two worms are big, and after this mold's been shot even one time and started to pick up a little heat, those are going to take a while to cool off. Forgot to blow, blow the snot out of the injector nozzle. There we go. All right, I'll see you guys in a little bit. All right, it should be cooled off enough to demold now. Probably has been for a while, but I'm not making a bunch of baits. I'm making one shot here. I'll shoot one more shot after this one. Let's see what we got. All right, let's push that up there. Turn on some light. Should have done that to begin with, so you guys can see better. Let's look at them one at a time. First off, um, the little one looks perfect. And looks good. And those of you guys who are looking for big baits, or not sure if you want a big bait or a small bait, that one looks really good. Looks like I picked up some black flake from somewhere. Of course, this is my test bench. There's stuff all over it. Tiny little bit of denting all the way down here in the tail. I don't think that will be an issue. Probably nobody but a bait maker would notice. But I think what I'm going to do on the next shot is shoot it, a, shoot it and hold it firm from the very beginning for a full 30 seconds, I think, just to make sure. Plus, the mold is quite a bit warmer now. It was, it was room temperature when we started, and it's not warm enough to be uncomfortable, but it's warm. For those of you who are going to be asking, do you have it available in just the 10 inch? Do you have it available in just the 4 inch? Uh, no, I don't. It's going to depend on how much interest I have. And if you specifically want me to jump to making a multi cavity in a particular size of this, and I, I mean this in all politeness because most people say they want something, but then you hear nothing but crickets when you tell them it's ready to go. So, put your money where your mouth is. If you want me to make a an all 10 inch, it'll be a lot more expensive than this because it takes longer to machine a bigger bait, and there's a lot of detail on those worms. Hopefully this second color will show that a little better. And uh, I think I have the plastic warm enough to uh, shoot a second color. Anyway, if you want an an all one size mold, let me know. And I'll give you a price on it if I haven't already figured it out. And if you pay for it, I'll make it. But as you can see on the very first shot, without any head playing around, any screwing around, nothing, I got five decent baits. So you know that the individual cavities work. Obviously if you wanted a you know a five cavity 10 inch or a four cavity 10 inch, whatever I come up with, well, it would be a more expensive mold, for the reason I already stated. But also, you'd need quite a bit bigger injector. All right. It's full. Now I'm going to hold firm pressure for 30 seconds. I'd tell you a joke right now, but for the life of me, I can't think of one at the moment. Uh, oh, I saw one on Facebook the other day. Did you hear about the astronaut that had uh, 
uh, claustrophobia. Yeah, he just needed space. Ha 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 ha. Anyway, I'm holding firm pressure on this mold, which means... Ooh, I don't know where that air came from. Uh, which means that it will probably have a little bit of flashing in the vents, but not much. You probably won't notice it again unless you're a bait maker. The vents are only two and a half thousandths deep, so that's what I found is the, the best method or the best depth to get them deep enough to always vent the air well and uh, shallow enough to not flash too badly. All right. Let's top that off, although there's probably plenty in that with that extra for draw. And I'll give it a few minutes to cool off and come back and see you guys in a few minutes. Oh, have you guys been sitting here waiting all this time? I'm sorry, I forgot. I was busy doing a design for a customer and... Ah, just kidding, I was only gone a couple of minutes. And the mold is still quite warm. Quite a bit warmer than the first time. By the way, if you use a sprue extender, that's kind of one of the tricks, is demold it like that so that you don't have to use a stick to push the plastic out. Did I say the mold was actually quite warm? Well, it's maybe not warm enough to hurt me, but it's warm enough to be uncomfortable. So I'll just use my heat resistant gloves, which you guys should be using all the time when you're shooting plastic. And we'll see what we wound up with. Well, there are five pretty good looking baits, and we looked at them the first time. We only saw a minor issue in one. That was the biggest one. And we don't even have that in this one. This one looks good all the way down. So let's just take this and set it over next to the other one. Yeah, I've been testing all kinds of things. Although I think you guys already saw these. These were a tail mold that I made for somebody for the True 8 mold. And these are the little quick and dirty swim baits, two of the sizes. And a clubbo, one of my favorite baits of all times. Twin tail True 8. Anyway, I know, I know, you guys are just here to see the pex worm. I probably shouldn't have cut that one off, but I... Eh, whatever. These were designed to basically be a straight worm. You know, a little bit different shape body, some texture cut on the body that's not normal. It's a cross-cut pattern on the top and bottom, and it's semi-cross-cut pattern on the sides, just by the nature of it. But if you're wondering what plastic this is, this is uh, MF Regular here, and this is Bait Plastics. Uh, I don't want to say bottom of the barrel. Um, um, oh, for, I forget. It's got a name... Uh, but basically what it is, is it's, it's, it's their discount plastic. Bait plastics are dead on. Hold on. Dead on plastics. This is the one that they give uh, a huge discount on because they just dump the, whatever's left over in their containers together to fill a few more gallons to send out to people who want a discount plastic. And it's not bad, as you can see. Uh, you're not going to have any problem with the worm moving around. It is a little stiffer than the MF regular, so you can take that for information if you're familiar with either of them to decide what plastic you want to use for the worm. But there it is. 